Hi guys. I'll just turn the aircon down a little bit because uh, temperatures getting temperatures are getting up. So I'm having to call my phone. Wasn't sure about where to go today, but it was a nice day, so I thought let's just go for a drive. So um, here we are out near Port Leven. And after that, I think we'll just have a quick lap around Helston and see what after that, see what happens after that. A lot of bad drivers on the road today. I had one guy in an Audi. Not bad mouthing Audis, but I had one guy in an Audi. He was a young lad in his 20s. The usual thing, two litre big bore exhaust and that's about it Whoa, right up behind me I thought here we go and then he kept slowing down and then Whoa, right up behind me and I thought dude that isn't a Quattro it's not an S4 it's a 2 litre it's just a 2 litre run of the mill Audi that's it nothing special the big bore exhaust Whoa, right up behind me in the end, I just pulled over, let him go on. I'm sure he was mightily impressed with himself that he made somebody pull over, when in fact he was getting quite annoying. But uh, yeah, such is the way of things. Even as a youngster, I never did that in my car. That what? Why? What's the point? All it's going to take is for so I'm rap, I'm rave, I'm rapping, I'm raving on now. All it's going to take one day is for him to do that, and then like a pretty girl to his left or right, you know, you're a young man, things happen, pretty girl to your left or right catches your eye, as you're doing this, and you go right into the back of somebody, or knock somebody over that's crossing the road. Uh, it's nuts. I don't know what they're doing along here, but it's looking really pretty. It's looking really nice. They're starting to raise the speed limits in Wales from 20 back up to 30. And I mean, look, outside of schools, yes, keep the speed, li speed limit down to 20. But I've, there are roads around here with the speed limits of 20 miles an hour. And they're, they're not needed. Outside schools, yes, but 30 miles an hour is perfectly safe. Phone nice and cool. Oh, look, look, they've got some kind of market up here. I wonder what this could be. Some kind of fish market, maybe? Try and see through the slits of. Ah, oh, there's a sign there. What's that say? It is. called the trail for some reason. Strange. I was thinking of going to St Ives today but I just, my pants aren't brave enough for that. Um, <clears throat> now it's going to start getting really really packed in St Ives and with that many bodies around on the road, not really paying attention I, uh, um, yeah, down that road down there ahead with that woman's in the red top, best fish and chips in Cornwall. Yeah, there's a Geordie guy that owns it, I don't know if he still owns it, but best fish and chips in Cornwall. gave him my extra special wobbly truck driver wave. Yeah, I thought I haven't been out Helston for quite a while. Uh, both Levin and Helston is... They've got a nice feel to them, so let's... Ooh, look, a green car. I like green on a car, it's nice. I get distracted far too easily. 
uh, yeah, I haven't been out here for quite a while, so I thought, why not? Oh yeah, I've got some peeling paint on the back of my car, I don't know if I told you, but the overall quote to have it fixed is around £1,300 for a bit of peeling lacquer. Oh. So what I'm going to do is just get some car wrap, guaranteed to last for 10 years, for around £20-£40. And I'll wrap the I'll just wrap the boot. I'll do it myself. Easy. That's so easy. Just do it that way to save myself some cash. Who was that cat that used to speak like that? Was that Snaggle Snaggle Puss Snaggle Tooth. Exit stage left. Undoubtedly. I don't know, I think it was Snaggle Puss. Probably wrong. Sorry about the uh, hedgery that's uh, necessary to get to Elson. I did think about going out the lizard again, but that never really seems to do very well. Uh, you know, I could go to actually the lizard village. Apart from gift shops, there's not a lot there. It's, uh, it's a question of either parking up and then walking down to the Lizard Point. What's the point, <laughs> to be honest? Or parking up in the car park, how I look in some of the souvenir shops with me. That's it, nice, isn't it? No, not that I talk like that, but like a complete nusser nusser when people don't realise I'm talking to you lot. That's nice, isn't it? Look at that. That's a lighthouse made out of shells. Or just go there, get you there, go there and turn around and come back again, which is boil boiling? Boring. So, uh, just, it's just, I haven't been here in a while. Let's just come to uh, Brooklevin. I was going to say Patrice. Brooklevin and then. Uh, Onto a bit of Helston, go through the town centre, and then maybe, maybe, um, video the ride home. Maybe a little bit of Gweek, which is a nice little village off the Helston Path Passage. He kind of drifted over a little bit, didn't he? I think he was gunning for me. Buster was like. <laughs> But yeah, we shall see. Yeah, it's quite busy around the boating lake. <laughs> that is the last place I'd teach my kid to ride his bike. Around the boating lake. <laughs> oh. And you're going that way, let's hope you're going that way. No, you, you've looked at me and you just pulled clean out in front of me. Never mind, eh? Never mind. I didn't really exist in the first place. <laughs> Some people aren't awake yet, or they still think they're having a dream. Sorry, that's not my real singer voice. My real singer voice, I'm like Chris Cornell. Totally. 
to totally, I don't, you'd never know the difference. Incidentally, Chris Cornell, I was that uh, seriously, that awesome guy that uh, sung with Soundgarden. And um, what was the other one? What was the other band? Oh God, I had it then. But they were, they were brilliant, Soundgarden. Uh, he had a fantastic voice though. As, as did that other one that passed away, um, Lincoln Park. Was he called Lester? I forget his second name, but he had a he had an amazing voice. It's weird how so many famous people are filled with so much heartache and pain. I suppose that's why they write good music because it comes from the heart. Look at me, I'm getting serious. Let's go down through the town. Oh, that someone's lost. That's why you can tell they're using sat nav. When somebody goes right around a roundabout, you know they're using sat nav. Don't worry, he's going that way. You're safe. That was colourful. She was a that was a colourful jacket, my god. Please don't rain. Yes, we can both squeeze through there. Easy. Every time I see that, it's really, really cool. I think more shops should do that. Alright, second gear down here, I think. I think on the way home, I think we should go for a little blast past HMS Seahawk, you know, Cold Rose. And then down through into Gweek. I'll pause the video on the way to Gweek so you don't see too much hedge, hedge stuff. That's right, buddy. And, uh, yeah, I'll unpause the video again at uh, Queek. Queek! <coughs> A girl then looked at me when I did that. Williams. Williams furniture, beds, sofas, chairs, carpets, curtains and blinds. I didn't know my sister owned a furniture shop. If I reach for the water, normally that makes the lights change. I'm just going to turn the aircon down just a little bit, just in case all you're hearing is... Make best fish fingers, I do. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but childish of me. Yeah, so back up to the top of town, um, towards HMS Seahawk. down through Greek and then home. Oh, there's bowling going on in there. Nice day for it. <laughs> right, back up the hill and then right at the roundabout, not left. 
hate repeating myself, but it's the only way of getting to Seahawk from this location, so. And every bar, right, you're going up there. Right, okay. That's good. Goody good. Kind of making the most of the way the roads are at the moment because in some the height of summer um, whew, you cannot move down there, except for the back lanes which all of the locals are then kind of well using because they can't really use the main roads can but they're going to be stuck in traffic so you know it's not that we mind the tourists you know tourism is what keeps this county going especially through the winter not that we have tourists through the winter but we you know what I mean you know what I mean I mean I hate to say it but during Covid well no at the end of Covid when there was still like, well not, Covid's never ended really, but when the lockdowns were lifted and people could start going on holiday, but you could, you still couldn't fly abroad, places like Cornwall, Wales, Scotland, they really did benefit from people having, I forgot what they call it, but home holiday, holidays at home, you know, like not leaving the island. didn't turn in front of me, my god. Right, literally, right. It's one of the old, if you saw it quickly, Sikorsky's, that, uh, Sikorsky Sea Kings that uh, we used to have down here. They used to be all over the place. Well, <laughs> in the sky, usually. And, uh, yeah. Now we've got the new Merlin helicopters. I'm just going to shut this window a little bit. Just put my speed up to the national limit. I'm just had a jag behind me thinking he can monster me. Why is it people get big cars and they think, oh, 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 you. Oh, oh, oh. you know? I've got a big car, but I don't bully people with little cars. Grow up. Sab. I used to have a Sab. They're really good cars. It was the old, um, the old 900 non-turbo. It still went like a stabbed rat. That's a saying, believe it or not. Mm. Yeah. All of this is cold roses. The bar I think there's the barracks up ahead. We're going to get done for revealing NATO secrets or something. I don't know. I, I guess they look barracky if they're the barracks. <sighs> so, uh, hope you're enjoying these videos. This, this video, um, it's the only one I've done this week. I would have done one Monday, but I was down Penzance, and you know, there's only so many times you can shoot a video at Penzance before people start rolling their eyes and going, <sighs> you know.
Plus, I know my sister watches these videos as well. And, uh, hello, sis. Woo. And, uh, she, she's in Penzance all the time. All the time. And, uh, just give her a nice little break to get out of Penzance and see something else, you know? Right, we're going to go down this way. And then Mr. Jag guy with all of his two litres. Yeah, that's a two litre, exactly the same as this. <laughs> God. No, but it's a Jag! It's a Jag! My own BMWs, I actually never let the brand get to my head. I never, oh, I'm in a BMW, look at me! You know, head back and off, you know. Go. It was thin, nice cars. Don't get me wrong, BMW, lovely car. Um, built, literally built like a tank. Uh, but that makes them uh, hard to service or expensive to service. Sorry, I've got to slow down. Some people expect you to take corners at 350 million miles an hour. Weak. Oh, I'll keep. I'll keep it running. It's. Uh, it's only. It's just two miles down the road. I can annoy you more with my voice for, for longer. Uh, but yeah, I, a lot of you will know that they used to hold um, air shows at um, Coldrose, and they were really good. And there was a little loophole where you could park up at the end of the runway, basically, just here. This is where we all used to park up, have picnics, watch the air show for free. And, uh, you know, you had to pay if you went inside, but why? You could just park up back there and watch the air show for free. And then the um, terrorists decide to put a stop to that, so uh, thank you very much for that. Thank you. Oh, phew, someone's burning something. I thought it was illegal to burn stuff like... I know it's illegal to burn rubber. Not like putting your foot down, but I mean, like, to actually like burn tires and stuff like that. That looks a really nice place to live. Really nice, peaceful place to live. Look at that view. Wow. And ahead you can see the valley, which is where the Helford Passage is, which kind of sounds a bit rude. Um, but it's the Helford River. Uh, and at the end of it is Greek. Uh, the Helford River goes out along the Helford Passage. It's really pretty out there. A lot of expensive houses built along there out to toward Falmouth um, what comes out near um, Meanporth which is where we go sometimes ah look pretty pretty tree tunnel Fresh local food. Did that say pasties? Tempting. I've got some money on me. Tempting. No, I think I've been very uh, unhealthy tonight. I'm having. I well, mostly be having pepperoni pizza. It's alright every now and then, isn't it? Sorry for the vibrations, guys, but these roads aren't the best. I do have image stabilization turned on. This is Greek. One place I actually haven't lived. A woman behind me with very bushy hair and a little mini trying to push me along to go faster. 
obviously not aware of the speed limits along here. I don't know how so many how people don't get so many more speeding tickets. Let's have a look down here. can be on our way in our little mini that can do a quarter of the speed of light. I'm not going to get out but it's just picturesque look. I'm just going to get you out of there look. and then just get my fingers out of the way. When the tide's in some of these go into the water and they'll go down the estuary. It's that fancy like little ferry thing over there. That's my description for it. Ferry thing. It was a really old ship there. As you can see it goes right down there, you know, as rivers do. <laughs> God. My description of things sometimes. The river goes down there. Uh I wonder if I could turn around here and not be an obstruction to anybody. Don't mind me, I'm only going. Beautiful. God, look at that. See that ship there? That's cool. Kind of looks like it is beached there. It doesn't look like it can go anywhere. This here is the Black Swan, it's the pub in Gweek, you do nice food there. It's, it's kind of a pub slash restaurant kind of thing. It's not too overly expensive. Oh thank you, and the people are friendly. That woman flashed me. Whoa. For some reason he looked like Ming the Merciless to me, I, I don't know. I think it was the pointy beard. Anyway guys, um, I'm probably going to draw the video to a close here because this is it's just going to be me slowing down for oncoming traffic um, and more hedge kind of views. So uh, I hope you liked the video. Uh, it was kind of another kind of off the cuff Oh look, the sun's out, let's quickly go and do a video for all my mates. So, um, as always guys, like, comment, subscribe, please do, it's free. For those of you that are watching and haven't subscribed yet, maybe you give the button a little tickle. And uh, as always, the world's a weird but crazy place at the moment. Sometimes wonderful but at the moment quite crazy. So take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time round, all right? Cheers, guys.